where are you? And what am I doing down here? Looks like a sh Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh god! Oh my god! Whoa, that's... That's dark. Oh my god. I can't go out that way. Get out of here. Close the door. Close the door. Find a closet, find a closet. There's a closet. Here we go. Hide. Woohoo! We made it. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. What? Without Samuel Shard, I don't even understand what that means. Is it gonna go back to the basement and patrol like the bitch it is? Oh no. Unknown. I'm confused and um, a bit scared and I thought that it looks like this is something that you should clear because there's a fucking door. You know? It, it looks like you should be able- oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. You don't see nothing. I got- I got a hand. I got a hand, and now I need to... What are you doing? I got a hand, and I... There was a hand. What if it was just for the door? Ah, uh, it was for the ding dang damn door! So what's the secret with the boxes? And this guy is like glitched there or something. Fuck off and die! Ah! Oh no! Uh, uh. Sounds are very odd. Where are you? You bitch. There's nothing left. Everything's gone. Well, that's what happens. Oh, I missed this part. Is there something in here? Hello, lots of oil! Stuff here, something back here. Um, I highly doubt it. Nothing back here but oil. Oh, and something else. What is it? Nothing. Well, fuck you then. Highly confused. Nope. 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 Did not hear a thing. It's very hard to do this quietly. <gasps> oh, there it is. Come here. Nope. Come here. <gasps> I just gotta sneak past that guy and get the fuck out. Nope. Shh. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I don't see shit. Time to run. Whoa, fuck you! It's okay, we can get out this way. Alright. Woo! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Exit! Where is the exit? Nope. Shut it. Shut it. Where was the exit? There's the exit. Woohoo! We got it! 
The address of the library wasn't far, but it started storming on my way. I constantly looked over my shoulder, but nothing seemed to be following me. Even so, I ran and ran all the way across London, never stopping. Even when the cold rain and exhaustion made my legs scream in pain. Charles Longden. That's me. So what the fuck happened to Samuel? Run! Cool. Chapter 3, Clock. How many chapters, excuse me, are there in this game? Alright. Um, it's very quiet. It's very dark. Oh, hey! How are you doing? What? I thought I heard something. And I thought there was a figure at the end. So what am I doing here? At the library. Uh, it does not say what I'm doing here. So that's cool. Hmm. Oh man, I don't like that there's just no music at all. That's a bunch of bull. Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to be scary or what. Oh! Yay, Tindy! I think the fact that there's no music is more unsettling. Okay. Very odd. Um. Don't see anything. Except for books. And a boarded up door. That's awesome. Something has tried to break in. It's locked, but the lock is rusty and weak. Um. Hooray! That was easy. Note. Samuel 1700. It pains me to seal the clock so soon after its completion, but I had no choice. I thought I had escaped from the college, but I should have known it was only a matter of time until they found me. I was forced to use all of my alcohest to fight the monsters off, searing their flesh, leaving none left to carry out my plan. I knew the monsters would return to break into the vault below, so I had no choice but to seal it. I also dressed one of the dead monsters in my clothes and hacked it to pieces. It may not be enough to fool them, but there is little else I can do. Even if by chance they break through my barriers, I thankfully have other means of defense. My guardians are not all powerful, but they should slow the monsters' progress. Samuel. I don't understand anything that you just said. Why would you dress a monster in your clothes and then hack it to... I don't get that. That's crazy talk. Of course it is amnesia, so shit be cray cray. Am I... Oop, hello. I would have missed that had I just... Stop hey! You stopped that. I would have missed that had I not, uh, come the fuck on. Give me that. What is that? It just gets a key! I like keys. Keys lead me places. Then where's the fucking music? I want the music, damn it. Okay, I missed a whole bunch of stuff, so. Hmm. Library things. Big old tome. Library thingamajigs. I have to say though, I have gone months and months and months without seeing any rain, so the sound of this is really, really nice for me right now. Being in the southwest corner of the United States, going through a heat wave, um, definitely don't have as much precipitation as the rest of the world. I hear whispers. Hello? What the hell? Oh, the chair was in the way. Meh. Nah. Uh, yeah, so I have to say the sound of rainstorms, and it's it's very nice. Wow, they're being super generous with their oil. They're making up for the time when they stole all of my oil for the longest time. Them bitches. Hmm. So what's up? What are we doing? Where are we going? How do we be so short? Locked. Is this where we came from? Yes, it is. So that's locked. Did we 
there, there has to be more to see. We can't have seen everything there is. So we went down this way. And I don't shut doors. Oh, here we go. Really? Nothing? Oh, that. Hartlib's death. Hartlib died in 1662 in poverty. Close friends reported that he had lost his pension and se severed contact with many of his correspondents as the restoration began. By the end of his life, the Hartlib circle had dissolved and he was living in seclusion. Though his official date of death on the 10th of March... Though his official date of death on the 10th of March... Uh, they, they're missing something. Others have suggested a later date. No official funeral was held, nor was a body buried. As Hartlib never married and had no children, his properties were put up for auction and bought by a private investor. Is that the purpose of this? To go around finding the Lowy books? And learn shit? That's locked. Well, I guess I will take a closer look at the books, then. Around here. Hello, glowy book. You're not a glowy book. A little light reading, because that is entirely the logical thing to do at a time like this, when you have a shard fused to your body and the shadow is stalking you, and yeah, that's uh, totally what you should do, is read. Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything in this one. At least that I have seen, unless I need... Do I need that book? It doesn't look very important. That was the only glowing book I've seen, and it was fairly obvious, so... One would think... Oh, there we go. The Heart Loop Circle. At its nexus, it was an association of personal friends. Heart Loop and Dury were the two key figures. Com Comenius, despite their best efforts, always remained a cause they were supporting rather than a fellow coordinator. Around them were Hubner, Hawk, Pell, Moran, Ruiz, Hotton, and Ap Apelius, later to be joined by Sadler, Culpepper, Worsley, Boyle, and Clodius. But as soon as one looks any further than this from the center, the lines of communication begin to branch and cross, threading their way into the center intellectual community of Europe and America. It is a circle with a definable center, but an almost indefinitely expendable periphery. Hmm. So, it's a big fucking circle. Hmm. Did I come from this way? Hello, my books, hello? Uh, nope. More glowy books, hello? Or, I was just in here, wasn't I? Wasn't I? Yeah, yeah I was. Okay. I'm losing me head. Let's look for more glowy books, shall we? Uh, that's nothing. Didn't those books fall over once upon a time? No? No? Up here? That looks glowy. Here we go. The great work. Geber has been noted as one of the first alchemists to theorize the possibility of metal transmutation. His complete work, the 112 books, have served as a guide for many notable alchemists past and present. Among them is outlined the, the description of the Philosopher's Stone, believed to be the catalyst for completing the great work. The work itself composes the three main goals of modern alchemy. That is the transmutation of lead into gold, the creation of a living homunculus, and the attainment of immortality. Okay. What does this have to do with me again? I mean, I'm just curious here. I mean, they already had a note up in here and a key. Oh, we had a key! Derp! Derp! A key to the rare book section. Derpity derp! And a derp herp derp. I feel silly. Get a little sanity going again. There we go. So where was it locked? Hmm. Where? Is it this one? Let's try it. 
Hooray, rare books! Ooh, they're so rare and exquisite and pretty. Here's one. Mithraic Mysteries. Scholars are divided on the origin of these practitioners as their temples are spread all across Europe. Most prominent among the theories are that the religion sprung from early Persian or Zoroastrian. Zor, Zor, Zoro, uh, whatever. Religions. Few materials survive from the early centuries, and they held no public ceremonies, instead offering to worship inside their Mithraeum. Many of these temples, sunken below the ground and windowless, remain hidden to this day. The rituals are the rituals concentrated on sac sac ah, can't read. sacred or religious icons, though materials are unclear about their exact shape. Okay. Again, what does this have to do with me? Is that the only glowy book in here? Really? Hey, I'm... Just... what? What? For, for serious? That's the only book in here. Really. Really. Um... Okay. Oh, hi, dead end. Now what? So for now I give up and I gotta go look up what to do, so. As always, thank you guys again for watching, and I hit 70 subscri uh, subscribers, which is awesome! Yay! You guys rock! Tell your friends! Do a tweet! Send a Facebook thing! I don't, I don't care! Just, yay! Let's keep it going! So, uh, I'll be back, hopefully with a solution and I shan't feel too dumb about it, so. Good thanks, bye!